Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart, where we learn about anything and everything heart related. Today, I will be talking about the different things to consider when choosing your future specialty. I will also cover some generic CV enhancing tips at the end of the video, so do stay for that. These are the timestamps of the topics I'm covering, so let's get started. You have now graduated from medical school and is in the midst of celebrating years of hard work and getting your career underway. Apart from the initial challenges of becoming a junior doctor, including learning how to do things not taught in medical school, you are faced with another big decision in life, which specialty to choose. Many junior doctors don't take this into consideration early on during their career, myself included, and when it comes to, to the deciding moment, you may not have accumulated as much evidence of commitment to the specialty as some of your colleagues. Throughout medical school, there would be subjects which capture your interest more than others. One which will make you read out with the syllabus and spend endless hours learning more. One that sparks joy, as Marie Kondo would put it, or not. In my case, I did not have any strong passion and was afraid of committing early on and making the wrong choice. I suspect many doctors like myself admired colleagues who knew what their future would look like. As time went by, the thought process of choosing a specialty began and it started out with questions such as, can you do this for the rest of your life? Being able to see into the future is a gift which nobody possesses, but having a rough idea of what your future looks like can definitely help you decide. Are you able to handle uncertainty? Uncertainty is a part and parcel of medicine, but some specialties carry it more than others. Outpatient specialties are more fixed in terms of how a typical day looks like, whereas acute specialties are more difficult to predict. The age-old question of instant gratification or long-term relationship, excitement in certain specialties, these are many more questions which comes up as we dive deeper and even then, the answers to these questions may change as you grow and progress in your career. What guided me in the end were exploring factors which influenced my choice. I have divided them into internal and external factors and hopefully this will provide some food for thought to guide you into your chosen specialty, whichever stage of training you are in. Even if by the end of this you have no idea at all, there are some useful generic things that can be done to help improve your CV and give you a better chance at pursuing the specialty of your choice. Let's start with the internal factors. The first one to discuss is passion. In most cases, doctors have some passion about the work which they do and this commonly translates into better outcomes, both in terms of their patient care and their own career progression. Passion in a certain specialty is determined by many complex factors, past experience, personality, role models, and many intangible influences which may not be easily defined. The lack of passion or in some instances, the disliking of a subject matter is slightly easier defined. This may be the first way to put some specialties into the no pile. Different specialty attracts different personalities, and this is definitely true in many of the hospitals I have worked in before. You may see a future you in some of the consultants you work with, and this could be the way to decide your specialty. Thirdly, enjoyment and job satisfaction. This is dependent on what you value more in your work. If you enjoy having long conversations with your patients, then maybe the acute specialties dealing with the front door emergencies may not be your best choice. Lastly, understanding of not only the specialty, but also yourself and what drives you. Being able to excel in what I do is something that I have always strived to do. Therefore, having a better understanding towards the specialty would gravitate me towards it and vice versa. This was what helped me choose my current specialty of cardiology. After taking into account these internal factors, let's have a look at the external factors. 
One very important factor to consider would be the type of lifestyle you prefer in the future. Or as some interviewers would ask, where do you see yourself in X amount of years? I think this is a very valid question and definitely plays an important role in determining your future specialty. Are you someone who values your sleep? Then maybe specialties with lots of night shifts would not be right for you. Secondly, the location which you work in may also influence the specialty you choose. Do you want to work in a hospital-based or community-based specialty? Do you like to work in the same environment or enjoy the mobility of working in different locations? Is there a specific area of the country you are planning to work in? And if so, unless you are a very strong candidate, the more competitive specialties may not be the best choice. Customers always come first, and in medicine, patients are our customers. Knowing what kinds of patients you enjoy interacting with is definitely very critical as they will be who you spend the most time with. Or not, if you choose a specialty with limited patient interaction like pathology. Lastly, knowing the type of work you do day to day and the hours you need to spend on each type of work is just as important. If you enjoy hands-on procedures, then maybe surgical specialties or medical specialty with lots of procedural skills are more suited for you. These external factors are things which you can learn about by talking to someone who is in the specialty. The importance of the experience working in the specialty cannot be replaced in most other ways. Therefore, give yourself plenty of chance to experience working in a specialty during your foundation years. Choosing a specialty is one of the few potentially life-changing decisions which you will make throughout your medical career. Therefore, you should really take your time to consider the different specialties before making the decision. However, it doesn't mean that you should just sit and spend the whole time thinking about making the choice. There are some generic things that can be done to improve your CV or application no matter which specialty you apply to in the end. Teaching is very important in medicine and being involved in teaching is a requirement for many specialties. Get involved in teaching whenever possible, even if it is just for a session or two. Sign up to teaching courses. There are plenty of these courses online and some are free, so there should be no excuses. If you are more keen, pursue a medical education degree as this will not only improve your teaching methods, but also bulk up your CV. Part of understanding and improving a healthcare system is through the use of quality improvement projects. In most hospitals, there would be established projects which anyone who are keen can participate in. Taking part in these will improve your knowledge of the subject involved and more importantly, provide you with discussion points during your specialty interviews. One tip is to choose a manageable project and ensure you do a complete cycle with your projects to score the maximum points. It is always better to have one good project than five incomplete ones. There are plenty of opportunities for publications and presentations available. Most consultants will have a list of rare or interesting cases which they have accumulated over the years but do not have the time to write it up or publish. With their guidance, getting your first publication may not be that difficult. Approach consultants or registrars to get involved in small research studies during your rotation. This could result in local or even an international presentation sometimes. Choosing your medical specialty may not be easy, but with time, you will learn what you like and what you don't. Make use of these factors that I've pointed out in this video and put different specialties which fits the criteria into a table. This will narrow down your choices and may make it easier to choose. If you find this video useful, please like and share. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you learned something from the video and would like to support my work. Enable notifications if you would like to be informed when I post my next video and comment below if there are any topics that you would like me to cover. If you would like to get in touch, email me or DM me on my social media platform. Thank you for watching.